Tonight, a Sydney service station erupts in flames, forcing evacuations. How a pregnant woman is about to make Australian medical history. Sydney's dress-up bandits, what they did to terrorise a shopkeeper. Our Olympic heroes welcomed home with a ticker tape parade through the city. Plus, beating Sydney's gridlock, is it faster to get out of your car and run? This is 7 News with Mark Ferguson. Good evening. Gas cylinders have erupted in flames during a fire emergency at a Liverpool petrol station. It forced the evacuation of nearby businesses and a school this afternoon, but fire crews managed to contain the blaze before it caused a catastrophe. Jets of flame erupt from the burning gas cylinders. It was just after one... 7 News. Still ahead in 7 News, how a man's death led to fears of an explosion at his Sydney home. The promise to parents about funding for children at school. Plus what this Sydney boy did for his mum to deserve a hero's award. That's next. All right, mum, a box of unexploded dynamite caused an emergency at Strathfield this afternoon. The bomb squad was sent in after Susan Martinello found sticks of the explosive and detonators in the roof of her deceased zero. Sport now with Mark Beretta and the season's over for Anthony Minicello. Yeah, Mark, he's facing the first suspension of his career for that bizarre hit in Canberra. That's next. Also, first they had Wolfman, now Wolverines join Manly's charge for back-to-back -back titles. Plus, Paul Gallen hangs 10 and reveals who he wants to coach the Blues. And a broken ankle can't stop our world champ, Casey Stoner. Look at that round of applause. Winger David Williams is sweating on the results of scans on a knee problem, but the Seagulls say injuries won't derail their title charge. The defending premiers have now moved into favouritism for the competition and say they can still improve. The Wolfman looked fine when he caught up with supporters and teammates say he'd give their number... ...in the title race. Just some breaking news in too, we're just hearing that Manly's David Wolfman Williams could be out for the rest of the season. Now as a mad Manly fan, Mark, I know that's going to hurt. That's tough. Not what I wanted to hear. Mm, exactly. Might lose the favouritism tag there, that's good. Thanks, Thanks Brits. Checking finance now and the share market is off to a sluggish start this week. With just a small setback, the ASX 200 closed down six points this afternoon. Bendigo Bank was down after reporting a 43% fall in its full year profit. And our dollar is buying close to 104 US cents. Sally's next with Sydney's weather is about to get nice and warm. Mark, we should really thaw out from the winter chill in the next few days. I'll have the details after the break. It was a fine and sunny day across the city and we have more sunshine on the way. It was a touch chilly overnight under those clear skies. We dropped to 7 degrees. Right now it's 14. Overall, it was the coldest morning in about two weeks to Sydney, below zero in Richmond and Katoomba, and it was 2 degrees at Gosford. Now we've got a front heading our way and we've got a bit of cloud just brewing inland, but so far no rain. But the system to watch, off, to watch for is one that's just hovering off the west coast. Now that will travel our way over the next couple of days, bringing us the first half taste of spring before a wet change sweeps in behind it. The ski fields could see a touch of rain, but it will quickly turn to snow. Around the country tomorrow, we're expecting a late shower in Melbourne, Hobart heading for a top of 15 degrees and also wet, should be mostly fine in Canberra. On the water, winds will swing nor nor east in the afternoon and if you're taking a dip in the ocean, it'll be 18 degrees in. Tonight will be fine, cool and clear, a top of 8 degrees before we hit a top of 21 tomorrow. A cold night ahead in the western suburbs, got a bit of local frost possible as well. We could see some fogs across the city. The good news is that will burn off fairly quickly with a warm August day on the way. Getting warmer into Wednesday as well. We're hitting highs around the in the high 20s on Thursday before rain sweeps through. The wet weather won't linger too long. It should clear by the time we hit Friday night with temperatures returning fairly close to average mark. OK, Sally, thank you. That is 7 News for this Monday. I'm Mark Ferguson. Chris Barth will be back in the chair tomorrow. Ahead on Today Tonight, the Sydney suburbs changing the most through immigration. That's next.